Welcome back everybody to Total War Rome 2 with the overall mod, the Mituris Pericolikis on the Wrath of Sparta DLC, episode 17. So if you guys are doing well today and you're ready to get into this, this is being recorded the day before I release it on Wednesday as always, and uh, I would like to apologize for yesterday's video being a super late upload. I'm sorry about that, it just didn't process overnight like they normally do, but this one should be fine and everything out of that will be all taken care of. Where we left last left off, we defeat this Empress army they mustered here with uh, Spartatokos, and he's now recruiting some uh, better quality troops to hopefully push to Larissa and Thessalia. And we also over here with our Basilis, uh, he's taken Antonia, and we're going to push into Empress's heartland going for uh, their regions here. Other than that, we're recruiting armies to complete our military objective. We only need one more pr uh, one more region to confirm, and then we only need four more settlements. And then 17 more units, which we're slowly getting to. And over here, we're doing about the same. Oh, we can upgrade. Oh, we can't upgrade, actually. We can upgrade the general. There we go. Oh, yeah. Other than that should be good to go. Upgrade the general there. Some of our armies are looking quite thin, but that's alright. But let's end our turn and find out what Empress does. Sorry if you'll hear one of my dogs. The windows are open, so I'm sure she's going to bark, but if it gets too bad, I'll cut it off. She's just a little ang anxious chihuahua. Come on, get on. <laughs> I don't know how long she'll stay on my lap, but that might keep her calm for a little bit. Alrighty, the Pythian Games. Ah, uh, we're just going to send an envoy, 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 however you want to say it. And the trench mine was completed at Argos, Aristico. And, alright, that's it for that turn. Down here, probably going to want to get a religious building going. And, let's see. I don't think we should push with that army just yet. Well, no, I mean, they're at 19. How bad is it? Negative three ain't horrible, and it'll go down quite a bit. I think we can continue our march. Securing Empress would actually give us our regions that we need. Still recruiting here. And over here, he's good to go. This main army here, we can also give... Uh, I probably want to just recruit. Ooh, God, those mercenaries are so expensive. Uh, we're going to leave that army barren then. We can have this one, though. Uh, uh, what to do, what to do. Could probably get some money going or recruitment going elsewhere. Say, down here. Get rid of them. And give us those guys. There we go. Upgrade the rest. And I don't know if we're going to get any battles in today's episode. Uh, we really pushed Empress back, thankfully. So we might be out of luck when it comes to fighting them. I should probably upgrade to a shipwright. Unless Medi is one. Medi's a military wharf, so that's all good. Toronum, right. This is a big... Wow, that's a big region. Jesus. I forget how big the ocean regions are. Alright, I think we're good to just... Because we can't recruit. Let's grab you. Upgrades. You can recruit. Mm, nothing good, actually. Well, nothing out of the ordinary, anyways. I think we should get this cavalry moving, though. We'll have it link up over here. In our turn, once more. Empress is trying to pull back and recover. 
I'm really expecting uh, the series to be over with. Um, if not this episode, which I don't, it probably won't be this episode, but maybe next or the one after that. I don't think we're going to make it to the 20 mark. Uh, but um, if you are still watching, definitely let me know uh, if you have any suggestions on what to do next. It doesn't have to be this game. It can be any of the other games. It can be any game, really. Just suggestions are always great. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you'll think. And uh, definitely know what your opinions are of the uh, the mod, too. Because I've enjoyed it overall. It's been really fun. And any sort of negative thing, it's been due to the AI in certain situations. But uh, the mod author was right. Dimitrios is definitely making it. He made a comeback, for sure. He's uh, holding his ground, considering I thought he was going to go away for a while but uh it's definitely been a fun game and i really i do recommend this mod especially if you don't have if you don't like the wrath of sparta dlc or the uh like you don't like huge overhaul mods like divide Empire stuff that really slows your game down this is a nice mod that just changes the scope of things and there's lots of other factions to play as too so i highly recommend it give it a shot at least Let's see do we want to finish out this Sure. Finish out... No, well... I mean... Could just go for that. Our research is pretty good. Can we hit... Let's hit... Koro. Yeah, hit that island first. Oh, scratch that. <laughs> They're suffering from the plague. Let's not hit that island. Save it for last. Alright, we're f ready to besiege Larissa. They say it will be a sounding success. I could not agree more. I think we're going to just auto-resolve this one. And we're going to raise it. There we go. Larissa is ours. A very nice staging point. I don't think... Yeah, very nice. We don't need horses from here. Uh, go for that, probably, and that. I wonder, do we get cool mercenaries? We do get cool mercenaries. Nice. I was really hoping to see that. I'm glad that it's there. <laughs> uh, go for... There you go. So Larissa's ours. Next up are these two settlements. And that were really, that were really diminished... Actually, Empress doesn't have any more land over here. This is uh, held by their ally. Empress is all of uh, over here. We're still leagues away from their capital, but we're getting there. And we're not making too much money, though, right now. And uh, nice so much. Nice so much. Hmm. He's got a navy there. That's dreadfully close. He's also got a navy close to Marina. Its garrison really would not do pretty. That is a full-size navy. Yeah, keep marching that way. We need nine more troops. I don't think we're going to find that here. Unless we recruit, like, the basic bare-bones soldier. Which, I mean, we could for garrison purposes. Actually, yeah, for garrison purposes, I think we will recruit will start recruiting the basics. Go ahead and end our turn again. And see what happens. But I will also, uh, back to the uh, a new series, definitely. We'll be replacing this one eventually. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after this. But uh, I'm definitely open to suggestions. And I'll probably put out a poll on... Uh, there is little honor in sitting as a spectator. I'll definitely put a poll out, probably on. Uh... We shall have oh, war. oh, help! And poets will well, sing of it ten... um, a poll on Reddit, perhaps, and if I can figure out how to do it on here, I might. But we'll see. Your wisdom is. Re oh, yeah, I don't care. I didn't mean to accept that, but they're pretty far away, and everybody's at war. So, all right, so they're plagued, but that's fine. It's okay. Everything's alright. Our capital plague, who cares? Alright. You need to actually kill this person. Try to, anyways. Oh, never mind. Well, that sucks. Keep 
marching that way, actually. Alright. Now, you. Are they still plagued? They're not. So we're going to take that. And we're going to raise it. And we're going to fix it right up. There we go. Our Bacillus has led a campaign endlessly against Empress. Starting all the way back in our home province, he has created a mighty Bithynian kingdom. Ready for and over here we're doing just as well. Uh, no reason to do that. Go spy on these two provinces, or settlements. Nothing's close. It seems that they're really trying to push on Athens right now. All that the uh, enemy has to bear is going on Athens. Okay. So that being said, is now the time for us to spring our... No, now is not the time. Oh, they have catapults. Or trebuchets. Not trebuchets, Jesus. Um... You sail over there. We might need to help that. And then grab the militia units. Whoever costs less. We can still only get one. That's fine. That'll be a garrison army that we can hold the borders with. Empress. Oh, that's not Empress. Okay, I was about to say, why do they have an army right there? What the hell? I say that is a big threat to our uh, economic provinces in the east. I know, it's Lysimachus and Demetrius having their endless naval campaigns against each other. Which, they did move their navy away from Irina, meaning we might be able to actually fight that. Whoa, did you all see that? <laughs> We might be able to take their capital. Hopefully. Athena is suffering from the plague. Everywhere is getting plagued now. Construction's done. We're doing great. Yeah, put him in there with those guys. And then move him down south. Put him in there. Grab another. And on a... Morale of uh, 56, 45. Oh god, get the hillmen. Yeah, get those. That'll be a nice little garrison army, actually, for Larissa if we want it. You, you're probably going to need to stay there. Oh, no, you're not. Wow. Uh, For now, we'll keep them there. I actually think 40 settlements are at 36. I thought we... Nah, whatever. All right. I think we're at the the time in which we <clears throat> fight Lysim March One less time. How do you land on this island? Oh, you can't land on this island without attacking it physically, it seems. Oh, oh give me one minute. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that little interruption there. Don't know what happened, but loud noises. Dogs freaked out. Back to it. Uh, we should probably send this navy up here to cover the landing of that army. Well, no, those are striking ships. They could sink our entire army, honestly. So they'll sail up there and hopefully deal a blow to them. I really want to keep on the aggressive aggression, but... I just don't know if Larissa... I mean, uh, they could recruit mercenaries and that could really fuck us over, actually. So we're gonna wait. Play it safe. If I can, I actually, I think we might be able to beat this campaign in this episode. I know I was at like maybe the 13 minute mark. 
before I had to make that cut, but we might be able to do it, guys. This might be the last episode. I don't know. Now we push on that. It'd be really interesting if it is, because I didn't plan on it being the last episode. I definitely think we can take that now. Yeah, they don't have anything guarding these back provinces. Ready for battle. Ooh. And go for that, and then go for that. Very nice. Yeah, we need that extra public order. And this army can now march down here. It'll get there eventually. And this navy can sail. So next turn, we should be able to fight this. Yeah, because we cannot attack that without physically hitting it from the naval landing side. And once we take that, that'll be two regions. We still need four more units. That's fine. This, we need a garrison here anyways. Um, go for... Probably go for some javelins. And then get some proper Thracian warriors. Alright. Let's go end our turn. Now that I think we can hit it, I'm really trying to go for this episode. But we will get one more battle in. Even if it's a smaller battle, I will fight the battle for... Oh boy, the island. The island that we need to win. Or I will fight at least the last battle of the series. If we get one. Agents are doing their thing. Oh, that, and that Navy is sailing away. Good. <laughs> Good. We want that Navy far away. <clears throat> All righty. Hellenization is complete. That's good. It gave us the infantry barracks, which I'm sorry that we have not actually got some of these higher tier units. I did not think about it. Really didn't think we'd beat it so or get to the very end of this campaign so quickly. But with that being said, we will keep pushing because we are on a roll. Empress cannot rally their forces in time, and his allies are all but distracted on engaging in Athens. So, with that being said, yes. let's go around here Your and let's go for the siege. I don't care about... Oh, yeah. Oh, they refuse to join. Wow. We will be fighting this. I think this might be the last battle of the series, so get ready, guys. We're going in. See what our navies can do. They do have some pretty strong ships, though, so we'll have to be careful, but their garrison is weak. There we go. Okay, this is a pretty basic settlement. We always get these ones. So, the way we're going to do it. Definitely go flaming shot. Are you ramming ships? Oh, they're ramming ships. Ooh. Uh, we'll set them up over here. Set them up right there and set these guys back in the back. Line up them. I see you. Seems like it says our reinforcements are coming from this area. I don't think they're going to land. Yeah, they're not landing on their own, so. Let's go on in. We're going to keep the Admiral back. And our armies need to land here. Yep, turn about. We need you to land. Oh, our cavalry is landing. They are disembarking their navy. How interesting. All that means is our archers will be able to pepper the enemy. And it does mean, though, that 
Uh, the rest of the Navy should probably just hang back. I figured they would give it a good shot, especially with the Onagers, but they do got some strong units that they can use against us, the Marines. Uh, those, not them. General unit here. Alrighty. Let's get all our ships in here. Come on. I'll speed this up for you guys. Let's move the support ships in sooner. Get some nice cinematic shots of our Navy coming in. This is a beautiful day. Beautiful day for victory. Should probably grab our cavalry and move them up a little bit. I think our archers should be in range. Yep. We will start to pepper the enemy. Clever the AI is trying to go in loose, loose formation where they can, but they're trying to cover the beach. Won't be enough to save them though. Once our army actually gets sorted. <clears throat> Let's bring the ships about. Sail them around. Our archers are going to be peppering the enemy. Oh, they're, oh, they're coming out to fight. Huh. Well, I didn't expect that. Um, run. We don't need that cav unit to die. That's our general. There we go. Oh, uh-oh. All righty. Oh, they managed to actually destroy one of our ships. I think it's time we come in and land. Where can we land at? I know we can land here, but... It will be a bumpy ride. Get all these ships in that we can. Coming in for a landing. It's gonna be a horrible beach landing, but this is our version of D-Day. Yep, line up. We are landing. These warriors first. For the kingdom. For Bithynia. Just get off the beach. Secure a foothold. Oh my god, cut off the enemy here, Jesus. We got those ships landing here. Land right there. And we've engaged the enemy. Oh, what a good throw. Oh, right into the back of the enemy. The AI does not know what to do. They're trying to reform in the center, I think, but with us landing here, they're caught off guard. That general will give us a troubling, pretty hard fight. But we are definitely reducing their numbers. They do have a pike unit. I don't know where they got that from. Let's go ahead and call our navy out of here. Yeah, get everybody else out. We don't want any stragglers. They're out of archer or they're out of fire arrows, so get everybody to land. Go for their general. Ready and 
these guys are definitely getting the medals for the day. Fighting the hardest over here. Oh, right on the neck. Another one. Go for the general. We'll send these units here to get around the enemy. Reinforcements are landing. We'll be able to flank the pikemen, thankfully. Y'all gonna wanna run. Yeah, they're getting into them. Ooh, they're losing their morale as the beach becomes ours. Our first enemy is no match for us. Even their pike units that have given us so much trouble will be crushed. They can't stand against Bithynian might nowadays. We will walk into the streets as victors, men. Stab the last few of them and they run. And nothing remains of the garrison. It was a decisive victory. Only losing 190. We had a 3,000 exactly. That is so cool. If they used those honorers, man, they would have probably been devastated a bit more. But, oh well. That should be. That is the end of the problem in the north and the last settlement that we need to take we will just occupy it and thank you very much convert that and we're good to go there we need two more settlements well I think we might be able to grab that actually seize them there occupy it convert that over just in case and over here, the last. Oh, nope, never mind, not the last. We we will need to actually wait one more turn before we call it victory. But I will continue playing because we are right on the edge of calling a victory here. And we will do that. This is my first campaign completed on the YouTube on my YouTube channel. This is cool, exciting to me. I didn't know the other two series were going to go as long as they did, but this is definitely a nice one. It was short, sweet, really nice, and a new mod that I've never pl uh, played. So, I've got first impressions and everything, and uh, yeah. This senseless war can end uh, today. No reason to go to war with him even longer. He definitely knows, even as the AI, he knows he couldn't handle the Bithynian Kingdom. As we own all of Northern Greece and Asia Minor. But once we take this last settlement and we hopefully will see victory. Rampant piracy recruit them. Cool. That's fine. Let's go over here. Oh, this is they've mustered everything they could to try and take this. Or to hold us. But with that done, we should be at the victory point, I think. Check, check. Yes, yep, all those gone. Yep. We should be there, everybody. I'll move some troops around real quick, just to make sure we successfully hold the regions. But other than that, I think we are done. Wow. Well, that's interesting. I didn't think we'd finish today, but uh, really cool. Once these agents go through and once the turn is over, we should hit the victory screen. It does make me realize how small this campaign is sometimes. But, that's, I mean, that's the point of it. This is a tiny DLC, but, but it is an amazing little overhaul mod that we have played. All the AI. The Greece fight, I think, definitely would be would be very interesting to see. There's a lot more minor factions uh, in the early game. And there we are. Victory is ours. 
Uh, so, wow. There we are. 133 turns. And we have won. Huh. Well, I'm not going to go to the end screen just yet. We have won, though. So don't none of this matters. Just do a quick takeaway. Uh, yeah, I had a great time actually playing this mod. It was kind of rough to begin with because it did seem it was a very slow start, but I was warned of that. Uh, so if you do play Bithynia, do be warned. It could be a slow start due to the uh not thinking you're a threat until you become too big. And But if you do push further into him, he more than likely will... He will encounter... You will encounter a army and actually sizable uh, resistance. But... Without being said, I had a great time with Bithynia securing the north, fighting the Greeks as a very unique faction that doesn't get a lot of spotlight, I guess, in uh, overall from CA or anything like that. Bithynia never was released as an official faction. So yeah, it's really cool to play it in this little mod. Um, with that being said, I definitely think it has some great unit variety. Uh, great. It feels complete. I definitely want to say that. Like For the Wrath of Sparta campaign, it feels like a proper overhaul of the DLC that fits the map and it works pretty well you got military you have objectives you have everything that you need to actually complete the game so uh, big um, big thumbs up for me I definitely recommend if you do want to try this mod out yourself try playing as Dimitrios I might do that next give me suggestions if you want me to try more of this mod or what else you want me to see uh, I'm gonna leave this slot open for maybe a week or two see what goes on with the polls and stuff but maybe try Dimitrios or Empress or maybe one of the uh, Greek states, if you could, or the Egyptians down here. I had a test run with their campaign, and they have some really cool units, but they are really out of the way. But without further ado, yeah, that that concludes our Bithynia campaign, the first completed series on my channel. So if you guys have enjoyed and you want to see more, like and subscribe as always. Take the notification button if you're notified when I post more videos like this. And uh, let me know where you want me to go next, your suggestions and feedback on this series. But without further ado, this has been Spartan, signing off.